welcome welcome once again to the uplifting hub if you are a returning subscriber in the year 2022 i would like to take this moment to thank you for your continued support and if you are a returning viewer as well you have not yet subscribed I'd like to thank you as well for your continued support. If you are new to this channel, I go by the name of Chehofajo Chweum Buyamba, and I'd like to take this moment to officially welcome you to my YouTube channel. Please do not forget to subscribe, to like, to comment, and to share this video with the people in your circle. Help my channel grow. This month, the month of February, it is actually my one year anniversary on YouTube. Yes, guys, it has been one year since I started my YouTube channel. So today I said, you know what? Why don't we sit back and review my journey on this channel? It has been beautiful, filled with its own challenges, couldn't commit to certain deadlines and I'm like I think one year it's an opportunity for me to um, come out and share my experience on YouTube how has it been what I've learned so far and for anyone who wants to start a YouTube channel I'm happy to share my journey with you how I started what inspired me to start and what are my plans you know for the channel so sit back relax if you do need to get a coffee this is the moment where you do that and for those of you who have not subscribed as yet please do subscribe to my youtube channel help me reach my 1000 subscriber target to start with you know um i would like to first say that i am so proud of myself for one year, we are sitting on 846 subscribers. For me, this is a great milestone. I'll tell you why. It's because I only have 30 YouTube videos. I shouldn't say this with so much pride. I should actually be a little bit embarrassed, but for someone with 30 videos and 846 subscribers, I'm proud of myself. There were challenges that I, I met um, in, in this whole YouTube space. Um, you know, there were certain hurdles that I, were, um, that I didn't see that I met in the space. However, I celebrate my growth. I think um, I'm proud of myself, given that I emphasize that I only have 30 videos. It's not as consistent as I would have desired to. But with the videos and the content that I put and what the output that we were able to achieve as a channel, I think I'm proud of myself. You know, um, I'll give myself a round of applause. <laughs> and to everybody who has been um, supporting me from February 2021, thank you so much. This channel wouldn't have been where it is right now without your support you make the uplifting hub what it is today so to start with i'd like to thank my subscribers i'd like to thank those who are engaging in the comments i'd like to thank those who are sharing who are liking and those who are also silent members i acknowledge your presence for those of you who are viewing and have not subscribed i also thank you i have quite a decent viewership on my videos so thank you so much and a big shout out to all the speakers who appeared on the channel. Thank you so much to everyone who came here to talk about realities of marriage series or a God of a second chance. I mean, it's really been a journey. You know, I tell you guys, for every speaker who came on the channel, I was their first um, listener. I was inspired first. And that was one of the reasons why I, I, I honestly brought people that I believe I could learn from. I could take some nuggets of wisdom and implement in my life. So I always want to bring someone who not only will inspire my viewers, but will inspire me first because the channel needs to speak to me first as an individual. So thank you guys. I know that everyone that I've mentioned is watching this channel. 
faithfully supporting so thank you so much from the bottom of my heart sincerely pray that god will bless you and testimonies your stories will continue to change lives as people come into the channel to watch and now into the subcategory of what i want to discuss is what inspired me to start you know what inspired me to start youtube was that i love and enjoy having engaging encouraging and inspirational conversations with 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 a group of ladies um really do i speak to men but <laughs> hopefully we'll start you know uh being more versatile on the channel in this year and bring more men however i've, I've always enjoyed um you know authentic intimate conversations that inspire me to be better inspire me to improve my life and the second reason was that you know i um i used to do short videos on my whatsapp like encouraging videos or i'll take one scripture and just dissect it and share it to encourage someone so i even remember that when i launched my youtube video like a couple of my friends were like this has been a long time coming meaning that it, it was they saw it coming in those short videos they could see that eventually i will venture into the bigger space um to be able to reach out to more people so i think it's a it's more of a passion and number three is that i love talking i i can talk for days so i was like why don't i be in a space where i can be myself youtube allowed me to be myself i love to talk you know um, i enjoy listening to my own voice which is weird i think of it but yeah i enjoy listening to my own voice and the other thing is that i love to encourage people i really do it's one of something that i think i was born with i don't know whether it's a gift or it's a calling but if you are in my space one way or another you're going to get a word of encouragement from me i just love encouraging people and um and i thought you know what why don't we start you know um i think when you start youtube your your why um might be a little bit not as strong but as you grow on the channel you start realizing your own niche and what exactly you want to particularly do so um for anyone who wants to start i mean um all you need to do is to to, to ask yourself if this is your something that you're really passionate about do you enjoy conversations do you enjoy engaging with people from diverse backgrounds you know so do your own introspection you know um are you comfortable to speak in front of a camera and there's nobody there with you and you have to be as vibrant <laughs> as possible as engaging so that your audience can connect with you if this is you then listen i'm talking to you i'm here confirming that you need to be on this space there is enough room for all of us on youtube don't listen to anybody saying you know what what there is enough room as long as you you believe this is something that you are called for or you're passionate about or you would like to explore i mean there's nothing wrong with exploring come into the platform and give yourself an opportunity to explore and also i thought i should share guys how i started like the equipment um that my first equipment when i started youtube in oh, february uh 2021 so my first equipment when i started my first video actually my first video was my testimony of how god came through for me um with respect to my you know my education because i've never paid for a single degree or certificate that i have if you have not watched that video uh please do go to my very first youtube video that we launch on my testimony of how god came through for me and um, opened doors of sponsorship for me and today i hold um two degrees um, and multiple professional certificates please do go watch it and you will be inspired because we serve a faithful god who opens doors um that no man can shut so when i started that video i actually had a team and my team uh, were two um, really godly gentlemen that offered to give me that leap of faith to start. So they came with a camera. Um, the one gentleman was a cameraman. Actually, uh, Flox is a singer. I should probably, you know, link his um, video in the description box. I'm not sure if Sia, because he used to be a YouTuber, if he's still on YouTube. I will gladly link his dis, um, his video in the description. But they also are um, credited appropriately on the videos they did for me in the beginning. So to them as well, a big, big shout out because 
without them probably i wouldn't have started because they were like look um you know we know we can help you we can start your first video and get you hyped up so thank you so much to sia and flox for really coming through and helping me with my first um youtube video i remember very well on that day that i was nervous and if i can be honest guys because that video is my story i actually didn't prepare i just came on the channel i was as authentic as as i could be it was my story all i did was to pray a few days before the shoot and on the day of the shoot we shared a moment of prayer i also did take time to fast and pray however preparing was not something that i really thoroughly did i just came on and i wanted people to relate to me i didn't want to sound scripted i wanted to come out and be as authentic as and be myself on the channel and i'm really um i i, I picked up a few mistakes on the video but i'm proud of it i'm happy with what was produced given that it was my first first video on the channel so yeah i had a team um i didn't have a makeup artist shout out to my sister hendrika <laughs> she was actually makeup artist if i may call it that way she just did my brows foundation lipstick and we were ready to start shooting you know obviously i didn't want to just um you know i wanted there was a there was a set of standard that i wanted on the channel but at the time you know when you start and you don't know how your channel is gonna go you really don't want to invest a lot of resources as you progress on the channel you know i think that's when you as you begin to see the direction you want to take your channel i think i would advise that's when you start investing in you know in your channel you know and i did have a ring light i will show like a small clip of my equipment that i'm using now so i did have um a one ring light to support the the room light and yeah that was it i didn't have a camera i didn't use my phone the team came with a camera i had a ring light no makeup artist i was as natural as as, as possible <laughs> as i could be and that's how we started and the video had a lot of um engagements and that was encouraging that was encouraging and also i do have to mention that one of the um you know um i don't know how to call it but i have a, an advantage in a, an advantage in a sense that because of my online boutique also if you haven't watched the video on get to know me where i talk about my online boutique please do check it out you will understand when i talk about my boutique because of my online boutique um la mode um online boutique it is on facebook we are also on instagram you will find me um i had already built quite um a community um as of today as i'm shooting this video my um, Facebook follower it's about um, just above 6.5 followers so that is obviously has um, um, you know I'm able to you know um, I'm able to get to to post my videos but I, essentially what I do is uh, most of my videos I direct traffic from my Facebook because I post my Facebook business page I must be clear most of my videos I am able to to generate or direct traffic from my Facebook business page because of the number of the following that I have, I always post it there and just ask my, um, you know, my followers and my, my clients on the boutique to sort of like support me on the YouTube channel. So you can say that I, I've built quite a decent community as well. So most of my videos have a decent following because of that. And thank you. Shout out to every Lamont online boutique client who support, who's here with me on the channel. I really appreciate you guys. And yeah, that's how I started. However, um, given that, you know, uh, one of the guys, actually Sia, which is the cameraman, Sia is based in Pumalanga. It sort of like started becoming an issue for me to shoot because I had to rely on his schedule and all that. And at the time, I mean, and now till now, um, I was using an iPhone. And when I wanted to start YouTube, I actually wanted to use my iPhone. But because they had offered me and I was thinking, well, I don't even know how to edit. So if someone is offering me and he, he's, he's going to edit the videos, why not? But eventually, if you think about it, I had to be more reliant on him and his availability. We could only shoot on weekends, um, you know, and and I, and I had to go back to the drawing board, you know, to, to my vision of the YouTube before before um, I met them. I was like, I was prepared to use my, I was actually prepared to use my phone. So I went back to the drawing board and I said, you know what, um, I appreciate what they've done for me. I'm so grateful. I'm thankful to them. However, the vision has to move forward. And iPhone produces quite decent quality. So why not? And I said, you know what? I have to put myself 
um, in the deep end. What do I mean by deep end? I have to allow myself to learn how to edit, to take my own videos. So that's where now a new journey for me began was um, the journey of we now going to have to be self-sufficient and start using my phone to shoot. So majority of my videos were produced with my iPhone. So I'm using iPhone 11. For those who may want to know, I'm using iPhone 11. And ideally, you should be using your phone in horizontal, you know, setting in order for or landscape. So you should put your phone in a landscape, um, you know, a setting. You should put it in landscape when you're shooting, like I'm doing this. <laughs> when you're shooting so that your video can be fuller. And um, the other thing is what helps me in terms of sound, I use these so that my sound can come very clear nice as well to, you know it, it helps out the other thing is where i got my equipment my ring lights i got my my ring lights at china mall i'm based in johannesburg uh, so to get to china mall is easy for me in johannesburg but i believe that every um china mall should have ring lights my first ring light was about 900 and then I invested in a second ring light later that I put right next to me where I am. There's always one ring light sort of like to just give the lighting. Um, so the second one I think was about 700. So yeah, you are going to have to invest if you want a certain quality. Obviously I'm not where I want to be, but I think I'm comfortable for now. Um, you know, given that I do my own videos, I'm in control. Sometimes I shoot at night when the kids are sleeping, but at least I know that I'm in charge of the content, you know, and I've got the equipment myself. And for editing, I use CapCard. It's definitely a free software.